I think we have to help these girls uh, now, not just me, many, many, many labs around the world, to find a cure to really bring them back to life. Right now, they're living and they should enjoy life and they should enjoy life with other kids. The girls in the pool it means that Danielle gets some independence, which she absolutely loves. She's able to float on her own and propel herself in the water on her own. It's amazing to see how they get engaged with the swimmers who are swimming with them. There's this group of young adults and they're energetic, they're committed, they make it a happy time. You're kicking away! And you can see them, how they encourage the girls in the pool. It's such a feeling of goodness. Usually most parents are used to uh, doing a lot of this stuff on their own, so it's actually nice to, for the parents sometimes to get in the pool and watch the kids go off with uh, their sons and daughters. This one class to me means that Haley gets to have some independence. She's doing it all by herself. She has difficulty walking at home, so doing this in the pool is very therapeutic for her. She's worked so hard for everything that she's done, and to see the pride on her face is also a plus. It's been really nice to give back to, the, to people who aren't as able to swim. So it's nice to just reach out and help the community around us. It's so great just to see the smiles, not only on, on their faces, but also on the parents' faces, seeing how they're responding and see how nice it makes them feel at the same time. The dream is we would like more students, more coaches, more donors to help us to create a program like this across New England, but also across the States. It takes a village to raise a child, it takes the world and a bigger community to help Red Syndrome and disorders like this.